welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing y'all how i got this little look here real simple makeup look with a pop of color nothing um nothing too dramatic nothing too complicated i just want to do it for fun so yeah as always if you want to see how i achieve this look then keep on watching so I hope I can do this before the sun go down. I already did my eyebrows, by the way. I just filmed this eyebrow tutorial. So don't be asking why I didn't show my eyebrows because you can go watch the eyebrow tutorial because it'll be up before this video. Okay, I'm taking my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. I probably should keep my edges tied down while I do this, but then I don't want that line across my head from my foundation when I take my hair scarf off. Oh, I forgot to wet my brush. I don't worry too much about getting um, like too much coverage right here at my foundation because I'm put concealer there anyway. There's just really no point in putting all that on right there. So I'm gonna put concealer over it. I've also gotten to the point where foundation grosses me out. Like I hate it touching me. I don't know what it is. But I like I hate the whole foundation process now. When I do my makeup, it like ugh, I feel like something is on me. Blend down your neck, girlies. Also, I need recommendations for a more full coverage foundation or concealer because. This spot on my nose, this scar on my nose, never gets covered. Like anytime I do my makeup, it still be peeping through and I don't, like I've tried piling on makeup on top of it, concealer, it just still be low key there. Like you can still see it. Oh, you doing something? Yeah. Oh, you You're in the shot. Oh. Ha! <laughs> you need to get somewhere with that. You need to go out there in that other one right It ain't no window. Okay, I'm gonna take a smaller brush to I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go like around my eyebrows and like my edges because just so I don't mess those up. Okay, on to concealer. I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer in the shade 10. I'm highlighting under my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, bridging my nose, and my forehead. I just wanna know. Now we're gonna set with this airspun loose face powder in naturally neutral. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark and taking a contour shade to contour. I want to do blue eyeshadow to match 
you know, the vibe. But I don't know if I should do just the blue eyeshadow on my lid or only on my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna just do it on my lower lash line. So I'm just go ahead and contour my eyelids, which is what I do for eyeshadow on my lids. Now we're gonna take our foundation brush and buff out the powder. No extra product on it, just what was left when we did the foundation. Now I'm taking my Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger to go over the um, powder. This shade matches my skin tone, so I'm just going over that for this. My camera's about to die, of course. If I had to switch to my phone, hopefully I'm in frame because I'm using my back camera and I can't see. Because the back camera is better than the front camera. The quality is better, I notice. Hopefully I'm in frame. I'm gonna take the Festival palette by Juvia's Place. Don't mind my palette, but I'm gonna mix this and this for my eyelid. Now I'm taking this red shade from the same palette for blush. Okay, on to highlight. I'm gonna mix my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and this Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Dry. So I'm gonna put some concealer so the color pops more on my lower lash line. And I'm taking my Coastal Scent 78 Shadow Blush Palette. I'm gonna take, I think I'll mix this one and this one. See what happens if I try and add some of this. Okay, I went over it with the dark, this dark color made it look more blue than green. Better? Okay, eyeliner. I'm taking this Wet n Wild black liquid liner. I'm gonna just do a wing. So for inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use this white shade from the Festival Palette by Juvia's Place. Now I'm gonna line my waterline with this black eyeliner pencil. Now I'm taking my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And now for lashes. I'm applying my lashes that will be releasing next month in April. So y'all be on the lookout for that, hushibitty.com. Okay, and these are 14 millimeter lashes, I believe. Yeah, 14 millimeter. 
a part of my shorter pairs, baby blinks that I will be releasing along with, I believe an eight millimeter pair. For those of y'all that like y'all lashes super short. And then I'll also be releasing 25 millimeters for those of you who like your lashes super long. Sun is going down. While I'm waiting for this glue to dry, I'm gonna do my lip liner. It's a brown, I don't know the name of it. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it rubbed off. Oh, let me go ahead and put the lash on. Now I'm taking my NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Teddy. Now I'm taking this red lip gloss by Wet n Wild and My Cherry Amour, putting it in the center. And then my other Wet n Wild clear lip gloss in Sweet Glaze. And boom, that is the final look. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure you turn your post notifications on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.